सो हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई YouTube चैनल इन दिस वीडियो विल गिव अ फॉर्मल डेरीवेशन टू हाइजनबर्ग्स अनसर्टेनिटी रिलेशन दैट इज विल डिराइव अ जनरल रिलेशन गिविंग द अनसर्टेनिटीज प्रोडक्ट ऑफ टू ऑपरेटर्स सो लेट्स टेक टू ऑपरेटर्स ए कैप एंड बी कैप विच आर हर्मिशंस विच इम्प्लाइज दैट ए कैप इज इक्वल टू ए कैप डैगर एंड बी कैप इज इक्वल टू बी कैप डैगर नाउ लेट द एक्सपेक्टेशन वैल्यू ऑफ ए कैप एंड बी कैप ऑपरेटर्स विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू अ नॉर्मलाइज स्ट्रेट साय बी गिवन बाय दिस एक्सप्रेशन दैट इज एक्सपेक्टेशन वैल्यू ऑफ ए कैप विच इज इक्वल टू ब्रा ऑफ साय ए कैप एंड कैट ऑफ साय सिमिलरली फॉर एक्सपेक्टेशन वैल्यू ऑफ बी कैप ब्रा ऑफ साय बी कैप इन टू कैट ऑफ साय एज दिस स्टेट साय इज नॉर्मलाइज सो ब्रा एंड कट ऑफ साय इज इक्वल टू वन नाउ लेट्स इंट्रोड्यूस टू न्यू ऑपरेटर्स डेल्टा ए कैप एंड डेल्टा बी कैप विच आर गिवन बाय डेल्टा ए कैप इक्वल टू ए कैप माइनस एक्सपेक्टेशन वैल्यू ऑफ ए कैप एंड डेल्टा बी कैप इक्वल टू बी कैप माइनस एक्सपेक्टेशन वैल्यू ऑफ बी कैप these operators are nothing but the small uncertainties of our operators a cap and b cap so by taking the square of a cap operator and b cap operator we get square of a cap equal to a cap square plus expectation value of a cap square minus 2 a cap into expectation value of a cap and similarly for b delta b cap equal to b cap plus expectation value of b cap square minus 2 b cap into expectation value of b cap now let's calculate the expectation value of delta a cap square and delta b cap square so the expectation value of delta a cap square can be given as delta a cap square this expectation value we are calculating with respect to our state psi so this can be given as expectation value of a cap square minus the square of the expectation value of a cap and similarly for b this is the expression now if you are wondering how we arrived at this equation let's see the derivation for this so we know that delta a cap is equal to a cap minus the expectation value of a cap and squaring delta a cap we get this expression now let's calculate the expectation value with respect to the state psi so the expectation value of delta a cap square can be given in this expression after expanding delta a cap square between the state psi and calculating the expectation value of the individual term we arrive at this equation now you can clearly see that this is this gives the expectation value of our a cap square operator minus 2 into expectation value of a cap now expectation value of a cap and 2 are constant terms because expectation value is a number so we are just operating our psi with a cap operator so taking this a cap operators expectation value we get 2 into expectation value of a cap into expectation value of a cap plus now again this is a constant term so taking outside and we know that psi is normalized so this thing becomes 1 now from this we arrived at this equation i hope you understood this term same analogy applies for the delta b square expectation value now moving further with our derivation we can say that the uncertainty of delta a and delta b can be given as delta a equal to root under the expectation value of delta a cap operator square gives us this expression which we arrived now and similarly for delta b this can be given as this expression so now let's see what happens when our operators delta a cap and delta b cap are operated on our normal state psi so when delta a cap is operated on ket psi we get a new state phi a which is delta a cap into ket of psi that is when delta a cap is operated on ket psi we get a new state phi a 
and similarly when delta b cap is operated on our straight psi we get phi b which is equal to delta b cap into cat psi now we know delta a cap and delta b cap are given by these expressions so psi a can be written as a cap minus expectation value of a cap into psi and similarly psi b can be written as b cap minus expectation value of b cap into psi now using schwarz inequality for the state phi a and phi b we can say that bra of phi a and cat of phi a into bra of phi b into cat of phi b is greater or equal to mod square of expectation bra of phi a into cat of phi b square let's give this equation a because we are going to use this further now let's evaluate each term of this expression so first of all now bra of phi a into cat of phi a can be given as bra of psi into delta a cap dagger into delta a cap into cat of psi so this thing can be written as bra of psi into delta a cap square into phi now if you are wondering how delta a cap square came here let's see now we know that our a cap operator is hermitian which implies that a cap is equal to a cap dagger so our a cap delta a cap operator is given by a cap minus expectation value of a cap and delta a cap dagger can be given as a cap dagger minus expectation value of a cap since a cap is equal to a cap dagger we can say that these two things are equal which implies that delta a cap is equal to delta a cap dagger so if delta a cap is equal to a cap dagger these things become square now this thing is nothing but our expectation value of delta a cap square which can be written as this so similarly we can say that for bra of phi b into cat of phi b which is equal to expectation value of our delta b cap operator square now we have evaluated the lhs of this expression let's evaluate the rhs of this expression so bra of phi a into cat of phi b can be given as bra of psi into delta a cap into delta b cap into cat of psi which is equal to the expectation value of delta a cap into delta b cap now putting all these values in our equation a we get we get this expression let's name it as equation b now let's see what further we can do with the right hand side of our equation b so now delta a cap into delta b cap can be written as half into commutator of delta a cap into delta b cap plus half into anti commutator of delta a cap into delta b cap now if you haven't watched the commutator relationship video click on the i tab to watch it in order to better understand what we have done here now this thing can be further written as delta a cap into delta b cap equal to half into commutator of a cap into b cap plus half into anti commutator of delta a cap into delta b cap now if you are wondering how we exchange delta a cap delta b cap commutator into commutator of a cap b cap here is the derivation so we have expanded a cap and b cap into their expression a cap minus expectation value of a cap and b cap minus expectation value of b cap and we have multiplied the bracket and we have arrived at this expression now as you can see a cap into expectation value of b cap and this b cap expectation value into a cap gets cancelled if you wonder how they commute you know that b cap is a number so this things commute that is an operator commutes with a number similarly for this expression and this two expression so all these things get cancelled out and we only have a cap b cap minus b cap a cap which is nothing but our commutators of a cap and b cap hope you understood how we arrived from here to 
year. Now let's take the expectation value of delta A cap into delta B cap which can be written as expectation value of delta A cap delta B cap equal to half into expectation value of commutator of A cap B cap plus half into expectation value of anti commutator of delta A cap delta B cap. Now taking mod square of this we arrive at this equation where we have neglected the remaining terms because delta A cap and delta B cap itself is very small so the square will be even smaller. Now this term is the anti commutator of our two Hermitian operator delta A cap and delta B cap. Now we know that anti commutator of two Hermitian operators are real numbers. So the above expression boils down to this inequality because we know that this expression is a real number. So we can write this as in terms of this equality by reviewing this term. Now comparing this equation let's take at equation C with our equation B. We arrive at this equation now by taking square root on both the side above equation reduces to delta A into delta B greater than equal to 1 by 2 into mod of expectation value of commutator of A cap into B cap. So this is the uncertainty relation between two operators. Now let's arrive at the Heisenberg's uncertainty principle for position and momentum. So let's take the x component of our position and momentum operator as A cap and B cap. That is A cap equal to x cap and B cap equal to x component of momentum that is Px cap. So delta x into delta Px will be greater than equal to half into mod of expectation value of x cap into px cap right and we note that commutator of x cap and px cap is i h cross so putting i h cross here we get delta x into delta px greater than equal to half into mod of expectation value of i h cross now these both things are constant so these things become 1 by 2 mod of i h cross now mod of i we know that it is 1 so this thing becomes h cross by 2 so we get delta x into delta p x greater than equal to h cross by 2 which is also written as h upon 4 phi so this is the uncertainty principle which we arrive from this general expression for uncertainty of two operators. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you understood how we arrived at the Heisenberg's uncertainty principle or in general the uncertainty relation between two operators. If you enjoyed this video, like, share and subscribe. Comment your feedback regarding the content of this video. Thank you.